that the season wasn't going to announce a winner until I was in my 40s. On this special edition report, we sat down with the creators of Battle for Dream Island. The twin brothers, Carrie and Michael, have just made a big change to their show. Hello, Fiery. Thank you for being here. So you may have heard that we recently took our YouTube animated series, which is called BFB, and we split it into two different branches. One of those branches is still called BFB, but the other branch is called Teapot, which stands for the power of two. I figured I'd just take this time in this interview to clarify why we did it, what the point of each of these branches is, and just kind of keep everyone in the loop. To paint the whole story, we gotta go back to summer of 2017, because that's when we first came up with the idea of BFB this season. We had felt like previous seasons were too bogged down, and we had raised our expectation for like how high quality the animation should be too high. And so I think personally, we were feeling overwhelmed and intimidated. We wanted to return to the spirit of the very first season of our show, BFDI. There's this magic when I look at old BFDI episodes, when I see the things that Carrie wrote in 2010. We would release an episode monthly. There were super low standards. We kind of like joked around, made silly episodes, and there were low stakes. They weren't as polished. They didn't look as good, but they had this spontaneity. So we said like, time to go back to the drawing board and start BFB, which was originally called Sloppy BFDI. We wanted to be able to crank out an episode in just a couple days, maybe using MS Paint if we had to, or Flash, just to kind of return to the fun of BFDI. But as the episodes went on, we noticed that the standards for BFB were also rising, just like all previous other seasons had. Yeah, especially in 2018 and 2019, the quality of BFB just went through the roof. Which just sort of naturally comes with being the first person in the object show space that everyone kind of looks up to. So around the summer of 2018, we realized there were actually two different things that people were looking for when they came to BFDI on YouTube. And one of those things were the crazy, silly, low stakes episodes like season one. And the other thing were really long story arcs, lots of character development, super polished animation, and pretty much the pinnacle of what the object show community had to offer. So these two desires were very different, and I think BFB was trying to cover both bases, so we figured a split in the show was inevitable. So we have the branch BFB with only 14 contestants, that is the whimsical side. And then Teapot, which has 40 contestants, will be the pinnacle animation side. A big motivation for this was I realized at the pace that BFB was going that the season wasn't going to announce a winner until I was in my 40s. The goal with new fast BFB is that episodes come out significantly more frequently than they have been. And when the season wraps up in about a year, it's just a short and sweet season and we have the opportunity to try something new. Maybe a new style of season, maybe a new art form. It gives us more freedom. For people who like the idea of having a season go on for a long period of time, like a saga, that's what Teapot's for. But you might have to wait four or five months for each new episode. Carrie and I have been doing this for 10 years now, and for the first time, we get to bring on a ton of people who I think are going to make two of the best object shows that have ever existed. So, long story short, this split was to give more people what they want. Yeah. Hi everyone, are you tired of battling for a dumb prize? So this is new host, their name is Two, and I know that there's been a lot of controversy in the Object Show community about the debut of Two for an X's split. And what I will say is that this new branch of BFB, because it's so fast paced and because it's going to be experimental, pretty much there's no rules. Anything could happen. Characters might move between seasons if they want to. The hosts might change up the challenges if they want to. Nothing is set in stone, just because the new branch of BFB is so fast and experimental. Any element you loved about old BFB could also be the new part. Oh, I also want to tell you that episodes are probably going to go back to the format of having a cake at stake and then a challenge. So you don't need to worry about that format going away anytime soon. But now is an especially good time to vote because if you vote, you can see a turnaround and results from your vote 
in just three, four weeks. So you'll be in the same grade level, you'll see your voice be heard at the BFDI table. That's what this is. It's the table that your voices will be heard at. They'll be like, I want you to be eliminated, and we'll hear you. You will give me Dream Island and release BFDI A6. All right, Barry, that's out of line. That's out of line. Yeah.